Hi, kiddos! Welcome back to Phonics with Mrs. Wetzelpritzel. This week, we are working on comparative adjectives. Remember, adjectives are describing words. Like this one. What does that say? Brave. Brave. Ramona is afraid of cows and horses, but the other day we went for a walk and we walked right by a field full of cows and she walked right by. Well, oh, my lights went off. Hmm. Anyway, she walked right by the field of cows and horses and didn't even bark at them. I said, Ramona, you are so brave. Something that Mrs. Wetzel is very afraid of is snakes. The other day, I was working out in my garden. I wasn't working out. I was outside working in my garden. I should have been working out in my garden. Maybe this summer. I was working outside in my garden, and there was a, a garter snake slithering by. Now, I know that garter snakes are not dangerous, but they are still terrifying to me. But I did not run inside. I kept on working. I was even braver than Ramona was walking by those cows. But in our family, Mr. Wetzel is the bravest because he is a hero. He is a firefighter and he goes to help people when their cars or houses or barns catch on fire. I think that makes him the bravest. Hmm. Brave, braver, and bravest are adjectives. Brave is the root word or the base word. Braver and bravest are comparative adjectives. Ugh, Mrs. Wetzel is carrying this great big heavy stack of books. She must be very strong. Ugh. Pretzel Wetzel is doing bicep curls with this heavy weight. Pretzel Wetzel is even strong er stronger. Hmm. Hmm. Pirate Wetzel is doing squats while holding desks. Pirate Wetzel is the strongest. Arr! All that pirate Wetzel grunting is, is very hard on Mrs. Wetzel's poor throat. Anyway, so you have gotten very good this week at reading those words with their endings. Remember, sometimes we have to change the word a little bit. Like when we changed brave to braver, we sort of dropped that E on the end and added the ER. We only need one E when we go from brave to braver or from brave to bravest. Today, we're going to talk about a new spelling rule when we're adding ER and EST to the ends of adjectives. Do you remember last week, we read two syllable words that ended in Y, and the Y sounded like a long E in words like happy. And puppy. Good. Well, when we have adjectives that end in that Y that sounds like a long E, like this word, happy, we can make those adjectives comparative. But we have to do a little bit of magic. We have to change that Y at the end of the word into a whole different letter before we add the ER or EST. We change that Y to an I and then add our ending. So if we are changing the word happy to happier, we change the Y to I and add ER. Happier. Or if we are changing happy to happiest, same thing. We change the Y to I and add EST. Happiest. Read these three with me. Happy. Happier. Happiest.
Let's try this one. Crazy. Crazy. Crazier. Craziest. Why do I always stick flowers in my hair and then get them stuck? I don't know how to get all this out. That's good. See how we change the Y in crazy to an I in crazier and craziest? Change that Y to I and then add E-R or E-S-T. <coughs> Let's try it with this word. Rainy. Rainy. I'm walking to my car and you can see if you look at my glasses, there's a couple little tiny raindrops because it is rainy. I just got home, but I'm waiting in my car because the rain got harder. I'm walking inside and I really wish I had an umbrella. At school it was rainy, but now it is a little bit rainier. But today it is the rainiest. Do you remember the other pattern that we have been working on this week? We have been reading two syllable words where the final syllable is L-E. Let's try a couple now. You know what that word is? Wiggle. Wiggle. Table. Bubble. Eagle. Bottle. Oh, hey guys, it's me. I'm back. I'm Schnazzle. I'm here to read some words with you. Schnazzle, do you want to read this word? Uh, yes, thanks. I will read that word. It is. Little. <laughs> Do you want to know what my most favorite multi-syllable word with L-E as the last syllable is? It's this one. Beagle. Oh, just look at these two tiny beagles all snuggly in bed. They are so adorable. Ah, oh, adorable is an L-E word too. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, time to get up. Good job reading with me today, kiddos. Work really hard on your activities. Keep it up. You're doing awesome. See you tomorrow. Bye.